All of the clips in this video are owned by Viacom, Nickelodeon, and also in this TV. Please don't take my video down. Mm -hmm. okay. Why are we in the prop closet? It's my office now. It's the prop closet. I'm a little preoccupied right now. What's up, y'all? I'm not at my, I'm not at home. I'm in a uh, strip mall parking lot because my mother wanted to go to the store after I got off work. So anyway, I was gonna record this video after work at home where it's quiet, but you know, you're gonna hear cars driving by and people blasting about music and all that mess. And also, this is on my window. I ain't uh, look when I was gonna, I ain't know how much of the phone like recorded the windows and stuff. I thought it was just gonna record me, but yeah, this is here too. Unfortunately, after I just got the car wash two damn days ago. But today's video, we'll be talking about the new Nickelodeon show drama club just because i talked about the young dylan the tyler perry's young dylan show a year ago and that video has four thousand views now i'm not really surprised that people actually search that up to watch it so what's it called i will i do have to say because it wasn't clear in the other video when i had uh reviewed that show I was reviewing it as a Tyler Perry show because it's Tyler Perry's on Dylan. I was reviewing it as a Tyler Perry show because, like, yeah, I'm 20 years old. I shouldn't be reviewing or talking about how bad a recent Nickelodeon show is just because, like, it's not for my demographic. Though, with the mindset I have, I'm able to laugh at childish stuff, you know, because all the people who hate Teen Titans Go just hate it just because of the fact that it's not the original Teen Titans. I watch Teen Titans Go and I find that funny. So basically, you can tell. If I laugh at Teen Titans Go, then I laugh at a lot of things. You know, and I like a lot of stuff because I like Teen Titans Go. Like, I were not really a fan of the original Teen Titans. They would even care that they switched it up, but they had to switch it for this demographic. But yeah, uh, the 12 year olds who watched my video for the Young Dylan thing were mad at the fact that I was talking about it in one for our demographic. But I wasn't talking about it as a Nick show because all them Nick shows are the same. And it's like, I don't watch them because they're not for me any damn way. I was just reviewing that as a Tyler Perry show because some of Tyler Perry shows and movies are bad. So since a lot of young kids watch that video, I'm going to edit out some of the stronger language in this video. Just bleep it. So. I'm gonna bleep out the words like sh and f if I do end up saying them. So with Drama Club, I'm gonna be talking about four different premises, if I remember them. So I'm gonna talk about uh, the plot, uh, the show itself, the characters, and the acting. I don't know if I'm gonna do it in that format, in that order, but I hope I do. So, the show. So, Nickelodeon have been showing a bunch of promos for it. And it actually looked good because it's one of those shows that doesn't have a laugh track. It's recorded like a drama series. Because, you know, they had shows like Ness Declassified, Just Jordan, uh, H2O. I think that's what that show called. House of Anubis. All those shows didn't have a laugh track. But this show is recorded like a documentary which makes it even more interesting. I'm just like, oh, this is a nice little concept. Because I've been seeing the promos of like for a few months now and I actually it, it, it caught my attention because I had faith in it I'm just like oh I'm okay. coming into 2021 strong you know because they have been like do, having better shows now like I've seen a few episodes of Ollie's Pack and I actually like it I'm like did the show get cancelled we've been ever since you know the, the, the virus didn't happen people had to stop production so I watched three episodes. I feel like when you, before you watch, before you review a show, you got to watch at least three episodes. One YouTuber reviewed this show a few weeks ago and he only watched one episode. Now, pilots are usually bad anyway. It, it, cause it's just getting you into the feel of the show. So yeah, the show basically is about, you know how schools don't care about the art department or like the drama department or anything with arts and stuff because they think it's just a use of waste of time and not many people participate in it so they in this school they go to they're at a school that cares more about football or that's the only thing they really care about so yeah based on the three episodes i watched i really like the show i like i knew i was just because it was different and it's just it's a nice concept like it's something that you would probably see on netflix or hulu or something like 
it's real good. The kid actors are good. Like, I like it. I don't, like, you know, if, if it's some problems, it's, it's little bitty ones, but they're not really big. So the first episode was about, uh, they got a new principal. So they thought it was this famous dude that was the principal, but no, it was somebody else. They were, trying, they were just trying to impress the principal so they wouldn't close down the drama club. Also, this uh, boy that was on the football team, he has to be in the drama club now just because of the fact that he didn't sign up for an elective. So he's part of it now, too. First episode was cool. Second episode, what was it about? I don't forgot that quick. Um... Oh, they were trying to make the the athlete, the uh, football player, focus more and actually focus on acting because he was the, he's the dance coach. So he actually was treating like uh, the acting thing like football. So they hypnotized him because, of course, since he's a jockey, he's stupid. They hypnotized him and he actually was uh, feeling the acting thing, but he was over doing it overboard. The third episode, I liked it more than I expected. It was real good. They uh, it was about everybody being on their phones, so. One of the characters took everybody's phones and made them do the play, do the script and all that stuff. So, yeah, like I said, the, the plot, the premise, the episodes, they're funny. They're they're actually, they're good. I actually like this show because when it comes to me, like, I laugh at different stuff. I watch different things and laugh at them because, yeah, like, the stuff for Nick ain't for me. But when it comes to my sense of humor, I can literally, I can watch anything and it depends on how good it is if I find it funny. Because, look, stuff on Nick Jr. and Disney Jr. I've laughed at because my nephew is three. So he watches that stuff. And, hey, some of that stuff be real good, you know. I like Teen Titans Go, to be honest. I mean, everybody hates it. And that's why I like it because everybody hate the, hate the damn show just because of the fact that uh, it's not the original. Someone's horn is just screaming and no one wants to fix that. Okay. It's all, I, I would edit that out, but I didn't, I was going to wait for it to stop. So, yeah. I, re, I, I like, literally, they dropped episode four on the app, and I'm going to watch it when I get home. It's a really nice show. So, the acting. The acting is better than I expected, G, just because of the fact that the, the young Dylan show, them kids, Dylan... He knows how to act, and like I said, the sister kind of like overacts, and then like the, the the brother, he doesn't really. See, you can tell it's his first time doing it, but you know, over time, at each episode goes on, they get better and better. But I haven't watched that show that show since episode four. But this show, these kids, these teens, they they know how to act. They they do a really good job. Like the dude in the other video. When he reviewed it, he said that the kids kind of overact. Or I see somebody in the comments talking about some something they overact. And I'm just like, eh, I mean, due to the fact that they are in the drama club, that's how I would expect them to act. And plus, one of the boys is like, hey, I came to the drama club because I want to be myself. And that makes a whole lot of sense. I mean, that makes a whole lot of sense. And, like, they're acting. The first episode, yeah, a little bit. But as it goes on, as they play the characters, you they can feel the character. And I feel like that's, that's a good trait. So, yeah. The acting ain't bad. At all. From the main character, from the rest of the minor characters, everybody does a pretty good job. Now let's talk about the characters. Uh, so, the main character is Mac. She's the, um... She's, she's the director. I like her. You have to like her. When it's a main character, you should like them. She's pretty cool. Uh, her friend, uh, Dorsey, I think that's her name. She's a little bit annoying, but she's not problematically annoying. She might start to get that way, but she cool. Uh, and then the star of the show, I feel like his name is uh, Oliver Olivier. He is... He is hilarious. Like, man, if it's somebody that's going to carry the show, it's Mac and it's him. Like, he is so good. Sassy characters in the show are hilarious. Now, it does get to a point where his sassiness does get annoying because he be doing too much. But, you know, that's what that's, that's what he going to do. That's his part. Uh, Bianca. Now, she... 
Okay, so back to Oliver. He's like a stereotype. He's a sassy stereotype, but he actually plays it well. He's funny, so I ain't got no problem with that. Bianca, she's like the blonde airhead. Like, I don't think she dumb. She just talks like this, and I, I hate it. But I'm getting used to it. I just wish they didn't pick that voice for her, but she's one of those people who's social media obsessed. But yeah, she... I don't know. She, I like her character. It's just, it gets annoying sometimes with her voice and shit, but she honestly cool. Now, Bench, Bench is the uh, football player, and he's also a stereotype. He's the jock stereotype because, of course, the main jock is dumb. So, but he plays his character good. He's funny, though. It's just, I, I used to talk about, I still do talk about, I need to make a video about how dumb characters are played out because I get tired of seeing dumb characters in these comedy shows but since this is like a more real this is this is like recorded like a real documentary thing it's cool like he's not like terribly dumb it's just he got this he got this Jersey accent too because I think that's where he's from but hey he does good now Skip he's the black character he's the only main black character just because you know how shows be they gotta like sprinkling and little races around and stuff but you know the main character she's uh asian so that's good the rest of them are white i just i i see uh one of them i don't even want to like assume what this boy race is it's just i know he's not white he, he's something else but the black character is as a black person i watch shows like this to see how they portray the black character and this black character, he got Skip, he got so much energy and he kind of acts stupid too and I'm just like, oh no, don't make him act like that, but I like his character, I really do, and him and, him and uh, Bench, they got a good bond together, it's, I like it, I like, it's just it reminded me too much of how the black guy inside Hustle acts because of course this black guy is friends with these two white girls and then he's he extra and all this energy and stupid like I said, dumb characters are kind of played out, but I don't know. Like, with these dumb characters, they act dumb, but they got some type of sense. But no, Bench, Bench is actually real stupid, but that don't bother me that much. So, yeah, I, I recommend this show. There's nothing, like I said, it's just like, I don't like when they, ha I don't like when black people are represented a certain way, because it's just like, why he got to be slow? And then, of course, in the play he only got one line i don't like i don't think like on the show it's not a racial thing it's just he's just playing a character but it's just i don't want the one black person in the show to be portrayed as stupid uh there's another the, the gym coach the, the football coach is black because you know shit most of the uh coaches in these uh football or sports teams they're black um the teacher so with this show, it has a lot of LGBT representation, which is good because look, Oliver, the way he he acts so sassy, so of course you know his character is sweet. Uh, the dude, the boy who does the lighting and stuff, I just think he's weird. I don't think he has a sexuality or like or is gay or whatever, because like you know nothing's wrong with any of that. It's just based on how they had the characters talk and how they act with the sassiness and all that. You could just assume. Now the teacher, the acting teacher, uh, he doesn't like being called a teacher. Uh, that's kind of funny, you know, and he, he, he seems to be that way too. And I care why? Because you're a teacher? Are you seriously being serious right now? People call me a lot of things. Best friend, Clyde, cool guy, but teacher? That's just rude. Though, technically I am a teacher. Jeremy, eyes on your test. Laura, you spelled your name wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> Uh, the, te the teacher has some funny moments. Now, with this show, this show does cringy things on purpose and then points it out that it's cringy. And which is fine. Like, nothing's wrong with that because I'm just glad they know whatever they're doing is cringy and not just doing something and being like, oh, I hope they like it. Like, no, this, this is horrible. Oh. Ah! <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. I was whopping. It's worse than I thought, you know? Now this show was made by Awesomeness TV. I didn't even know that. Just because of the fact that um, a lot of the stuff I've seen from Awesomeness TV is horrible. And the only reason I don't watch Awesomeness TV programs on whatever platform they're on is just because of the fact that 
when Awesome Miss TV first came out, Nickelodeon let them have a skit show on their network for two years. And it was bad. I didn't like it. It was horrible. And IMDb gave it a, a four point, no, a 2.4 out of 10. So yeah, it was horrible. Uh, now this show has a, what does it have? It has a 6.3 on IMDb as of right now, I think. And it's real good. In my opinion, I honestly, I recommend it. I suggest y'all check it out. It's funny. It has dark humor in it too. Like, what's it called? Oliver uh, was telling, because uh, the girl, Bianca, he's she's his co-star and he doesn't really like her because she's like a airhead heiress type thing. So he told the boy that does the lighting to drop a light on her and he actually, he dropped the light but it missed her. And I'm like, oh my God, the, the light broke and everything. It. All I'm asking you to do is, you know, Maybe accidentally, hypothetically, oh, no, drop, no. drop, drop a light on her. No. Curtis, now. Bye, bye. <laughs> Quick, we need a distraction. Gertie, deploy the cannon. Get up, baby. That was not the plan. I paid creepy sunglass boy forty whole dollars to drop a light on her face. The next episode, episode two, when the uh, jock was acting crazy, one of the girls was like, oh, we can take him out with an elephant tranquilizer. And she just pulls out an elephant tranquilizer out of nowhere. And she said, what she say? It's the only way. And it's like, what in the hell? The next episode, the same girl was being cool with uh, Mac just because of the fact that uh, they ain't had any phones. So her, Mac, and the lighting boy, I don't know these people, I don't know their names. Uh, they was bonding. So she said, hey, you want a pickle? And pulled out a pickle out of no damn well. And then the the other boy, the lighting boy, he pulled out some ketchup. Talking about some, yeah, you want some ketchup with it? Where y'all getting this stuff from? Random comment like that makes me laugh. And this show is is good. Like, nothing's wrong with the acting. Because, yeah, it would seem like the black boy was overacting. But it's just like, I don't know. That just fits the show because, like, they drama kids, you know? So even if they acting as shitty, it fits. It actually does fit. So yeah, I like this show. I do. I really. I'm. I'm glad Nickelodeon picked this up. Even if it get canceled, Awesomeness TV can put it back on their uh, online platform. So yeah, this show is gonna hopefully is going places. I looked at the the, the views of it on uh, Wikipedia and. Yeah, I need more people to watch this show. Like, I don't like the fact that only this amount of people. I think, is this in a million? I think it's in... Okay, so that means, like, by almost about 400,000 watched it. It's just, I, I wanted to get more. It's one of those shows where I don't want it to get canceled. Just, like, I want to make a video about Disney's The Owl House. I don't want that to get canceled. But, yeah, this show is actually, I like it. And I'll be tuning in every week to watch it. Uh, like I said, the first episode is in the description. If you want to watch it, you can comment and tell me how you feel about it. And we can discuss it. Because, like like I said, besides the little minor things about how some of the characters are stereotypes and all that, the show still runs well. Because, like, you know, there's going to be shows with a bunch of stereotypes all over. But if you do them right, if the actor plays them right, then it won't be a big deal you know so yeah thanks for watching watch the show it's actually funny